What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to replace the air filter on your night rod, V-rod, uh, muscle, any sort of rod, uh, Harley Davidson. This specific bike is a 2014 night rod special. Uh, the muscle is going to have a few extra steps. There's going to be some panels right here that you have to remove before you can remove the air filter cover here. So you'll have to remove a few screws as well as those panels. Now I will post product links in the video description as well for the factory air filters, a K&N, as well as the V-Rod Super Intake made by Moto Hooligan. I'll also post another video in the video description, uh, a link showing how to remove the side panels if you have the muscle, um, because obviously I can't show you how to do that. <laughs> I don't have that option. So that video is going to show you how to remove the extra panels if you have a muscle. And he also installs the Moto Hooligan. Now we're not going with that kit on this bike because it's like a $450 kit. And if you ask me, it just kind of sucks hot air anyways. It might be able to flow a little bit more air, but it sits right on top of the engine and you're gonna be sucking in hot air as where the factory air box pulls air from behind the forks and uh, it's in its own little plastic enclosure to keep it a little cooler. So without further ado, on this night rod, we're gonna lift up the seat and then turn this clip counterclockwise quarter turn and you should be able to lift it up and then you're gonna straighten out the bars. This will help just a little bit. So we're gonna carefully lift on the back where we loosened the clip. And then if you get a real close look at the front here, you'll see um, there's two tabs. We're gonna, we're gonna kind of wiggle and pull towards the back of the bike. There you can see there's like two little metal tabs, one on each side that goes into these rubber grommets. So that's what we're pulling out. And once you get it slid back, you can carefully lift the air box cover out of the way. Be careful not to scratch it. Next, we'll need to remove the three clips on each side of the air box. I recommend using a flathead screwdriver because they actually are pretty stout clips. They kind of hurt my finger trying to do it. Uh, you're just gonna do this. And then you should be able to just lift the cover off. Be careful because your air temp sensor is right there. If you don't wanna risk damaging the sensor, you can just push down on this metal tab and pull back on the connector at the same time, like so. And then we'll get that out of the way. Now we can lift this out. Here's that little ram air intake tube I was talking about. Just kind of got to wiggle it out of there. And now we have access to our air filter. So again, whether it's factory paper filter or a K&N, steps here are going to be the same. We're going to just loosen this little top nut counterclockwise to remove the nut and the top cover to the air filter element. Now simply just lift your old filter off. Now I'm going to take the replacement filter, which in this case is a new K&N filter that's already oiled. Does not say which way it goes up or down, so it shouldn't matter. And we're just going to set it into place. Make sure that you get it within the grooves here. You want a nice good seal, so make sure it's in there all the way around in the groove like it should be before we put everything back together. Now we'll reinstall the air filter cover, which the tallest point should face towards the front of the bike, just like this. Again, make sure you get it, the gasket of the filter lined up all the way around, so it's a good seal. And reinstall our little mounting nut here. Now don't over tighten this, by any means don't take a pliers to it or anything, you don't want to squish the filter, just kind of snug by hand is enough. Just so that it has some sort of pressure sealing it so that uh, dust and stuff can't get sucked in between the sealing surfaces. Now shove any wires out of the way that you might need to in order to get your little ram air tube back down where it needs to be and get our air box all lined up. As with the common theme here, we're going to get the clips out of the way. Make sure everything's lined up for a nice seal. It should all line up in the channels. And then you can snap these back into position, all six of them. And I actually lied. There is a seventh one that I didn't even notice. It came undone on its own. Uh, it's hiding here between the coolant reservoir and the air box. So that one's a little bit of a pain to get at. And it actually came undone by itself after I did the other six when we were coming apart. So don't forget to plug your temp sensor back in if you unplugged it should just 
push on and you'll hear it click into place like that. Now, before we reinstall the air box cover here, make sure your grommets are proper shape like this, perfectly round. Uh, the first time I took this apart, the grommet was all squished like this and I had to kind of push it back through the metal bracket here. So this is how they should look. And then we're gonna carefully slide the air box cover forward, getting these little metal tabs lined up and slid into the rubber grommets. Remember there's one on each side, so just kind of gently shove forward until it feels like it's fully installed. And then you can kind of see down here the hole where the quarter turn clip lines up. It just tightens onto this little metal wire looking thing here. So what you'll do is you can see that. If you can't line it up like I am, where you can see the groove in the quarter turn clip, you can kind of just push down and rotate counterclockwise until you feel it drop into place and then clockwise quarter turn and it'll lock into place. And then just simply put your seat back down, click it into position and you're done. And that's that for replacing the air filter on your Harley Night Rod Special. Um, again, if you have a muscle or a v-rod and you need extra assistance check out that video down below he shows how to take those extra panels off if this video helped you out make sure you hit that like button subscribe for more videos like this and check me out on facebook at tony the truck guy thanks for watching have a great day